The final Friday night football game of the regular season brings us to Commonwealth Stadium Edmonton as the Argos roll into town to face the Elks. Toronto heating up at just the right time. They've won three in a row. Edmonton not so much. They start the season 0-7. They will miss the playoffs. Third round pick, 25th overall in this 2024 draft. Near side, first down. Coxie gets involved. Good sample size on Dukes this year. Four wins, four losses. Gets that ninth game tonight and has another completion. Arlahu in. A 40-yarder from the right hash. That is up, and it is wide left. And that'll be brought back out by Javon Leak, who takes it to the 10, the 14. A flag on the play. So Toronto comes up empty. He has eight. All of them combined in the last three years have six. Looking to throw here a little sidearm action. And that'll be a first down, a little bit more as well. All the way out to about the 34 or got the win as a starter. Three different running backs with over 500 yards. Ford in trouble again, escapes down the field, wide open, 1,000 yard season for Gino. Fights off one tackle at the 50 and lunges ahead. Red Blacks wrap up their regular season with a victory. Far side, that's batted down on third and one. It'll be a turnover on downs. Kenneth George Jr. Broke on that ball very well. Team leading eight sack of the season, as Suits mentioned. Dukes bouncing around the pocket, looking for something. Now he'll escape, has some space, looking for the first down, got it. Takes it just outside the 50. <laughs> Empty backfield here for Dukes, wide open near side. And that's going to be pushed ahead. There's a flag at the end of the play. Major foul roughing the passer, Edmonton number 97. 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. Marcus Christmas called an excellent so far this season. This is 23 yards straight away, no problem. Just 74.8. Here's some pressure. Ford gets it away. Wide open far side. Down to the 50. It's leaked. The race is on. Nobody's gonna catch him. See you later to the 10. To the house. Javon Leak from Trey Ford. Touchdown Edmonton. <laughs> Edmonton leads 6-3. Nice return shaping up here all the way back to midfield. Now third on the depth chart in Toronto. Second and four. Three to the left. Three to the right. Looks down the middle. Big collision. But the ball is held on to. In case anything happened to Chad Kelly in the, early in a playoff game. Second and six. Arbuckle. End zone. Shot. Drops it in there. And it's held on to Jake Herslow, holds it in. At the start of the year, when they weren't getting any wins, and to not make the change until August to bring in Trey Ford, who got the first win of the season for them. What a kick this is. That bounced inside the one, came back. So second and ten for Arbuckle, three options out to his right, looks over the middle, throws down the far side of the field, and that is hauled in, a flag on the play as well, it's Polk again. Coming into the game, 31 yarder, no problem, right down the middle. Used to hate playing against it. <laughs> They need seven more. Over the middle, got it again. It's Polk and that'll be a thousand yard campaign. Pressure this time. Holds up well, down the field, broken up and intercepted at the 15. That one bounces into the waiting arms of Darius Bratton, his fourth INT of the campaign. I like to ask the hard hitting stuff. Yeah. <laughs> First and 10 from the Edmonton nine. They'll start it on the ground. Javon Leak, here he goes. Okay. He's to the 40, to the 50 midfield. Can they catch him? He'll go to the 30, still going. This would be an incredible start to the half, but they'll track him down at the 15. What a burst from Leak against his formal club. He wanted that one big time. He hits it, gets one block on middle linebacker Jake Kassar from his offensive line, and he takes off. And just because he juggled the ball to the other hand, I think he lost half a step, is the only reason he didn't take it all the way to the house. He 80, 88 yards. 
And that one is up and through for Arbuckle. Three to the left, three out to the right. He'll stay in the pocket. And Vital's got it. Yeah, his report probably not till tomorrow on him. Straight up the middle with McMahon. He's got a first down. The good news for Toronto at 123.8 per game. So it's very close. You think? In fact, this game, that Javon Leak run may have changed the entire thing. This will be taken down inside the 20 to win at Mosaic. So we'll have that for you tomorrow. On the ground here, McMahon to the end zone. He's in. Touchdown, Toronto. Fourth rushing touchdown of the season for McMahon. Going to commit to him as the guy. Second and eight, Ford escapes, takes off, looking for the first down, got it with a little bit more, spins his way out beyond the 35. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> Second and nine, dumps this one off. Far side of the field, it's Leak again, he's got a first down. Last chance to make an impression on whoever will be calling the shots. On the run here is Ford, down to the 30, to the 20, and a roar from the crowd as he takes it inside the 15. Second and goal, Argos bring heat, Ford throws it up, got it far side, give him eight in a row, Eugene Lewis tying Milt Stiegel for the second longest touchdown streak in CFL history. Ford turns, keeps it on the run, and that is incomplete. Over the head of Smith and a little bit too far ahead. There. Do you think it's okay if I have one of these? I, yes, yeah. yes, pinball, I, I think yes. it's okay. Yes. It's taken at the 10. Mitchell stays on his feet. First time, not the second time. They'll come in and gang tackle him. I mean, look at their backfield alone. Javon Leak and Justin Rankin. Trey Ford looking to throw here. Wide open, out at the 30, and off to the races we go this time. Near side of the field, Dominic Smith takes it down to the 30, and finally tracked down at the 25. Biggest play of his young CFL career. Tevin Jones will slide in behind his quarterback, now to the left, to the end zone. Ford thought about it, now he's going to take off on the run. Gets to the far side, down to the 20, the 15. A uh, first down for the Elks. They'll hand it off to the 10. Down to the 5. Pushing towards the end zone and he's in. Touchdown Elks. Justin Rankin has his fifth rushing TD of the season. Edmonton leads 21-20. Dylan Mitchell at the top of your screen. Gino Lewis one-on-one -on -one at the bottom against Benji Franklin. Ford over the middle, back of the end zone. Smith, who started the drive with a big catch of 71 yards, finishes the two points. <laughs> Lots of life left to live for Johnny. Here's a nice catch. Mittal takes Very it out. Nice. Midfield still going down to the 40, and finally he's taken down and knocked out of bounds. First and 10 from the Edmonton 34. Arbuckle on the run to his right. Drops it off at the 25. And that's out of bounds from the Edmonton nine. Swing. Dumps it out to McMahon. The five sees some space. End zone got it. Touchdown Toronto. And they go back on top. His second major of the ball game. Yeah, he, he disguised it nicely. Two to the left, two to the right. Ford, far side of the field, down to the 50. Two by Eugene Lewis, and just like that, Edmonton is in business. All the way up to the Toronto 40. Three on the defensive line. 42 seconds to work. Ford, will he take off himself? No, a shot down the field. Touchdown, Edmonton. with 34 seconds left. Two big throws from Trey Ford to get it done. And yeah, they're out of the playoffs and 
This is supposed to not mean anything, but you guarantee it does for a lot of players, including number two. And he goes to Mathis on that one. Put the Elks back on top. 26 seconds to work with. Elks only sent four. Arbuckle down to the 50s. Got it turning around. Nice catch. Career long of 56 for Haralahu. Arbuckle down the field to the 41. Down by three. Elks send four. Arbuckle dumps it off to McMahon. Watch the time. At the 15, pushes it down towards the 10, and he goes down with four seconds. It was Edmonton with this situation. To deadlock it at 30, a flag flies as he knocks it home. Career high for him. Throwing here from the 40, trying to. Can he escape? Gets it away, and that one falls incomplete. Mittal turned, didn't see it in time, and there's a flag back at the 50. Which way? Major foul, unnecessary roughness. Toronto number 56. It's going to be second down from the 50 yard line. Five. From the Edmonton 50, over the middle. That is caught, complete. Tackle made by Morgan. The far hash. Haralahu to give Toronto the lead. That is up, and it is no good. That'll be brought out by Javon Leak. Leak will take it up to the 10. And that is where he will be taken out of bounds. So any points will end it for the Elks. Jake Julian in a year in which he has set the CFL all-time record for punting yardage. Hammers it away, looking for the Rouge and the win. Got it! Just happened.